right, here we are. We're going to unbox Disney's Mickey Mouse at home Mickey waffle make waffle maker. All right, got this for Christmas. Okay, we're going to see uh, what it includes and we're going to heat it up. All right, you know, you go to the Disney parks and you get those waffles, Disney yummy Mickey Mouse waffles. And they're so delicious. So we're going to see if we can bring some of the magic home with us. Okay. We've got instructions. Okay, a box. I think that's the best thing about going to Disney is uh, getting some of those waffles. Mickey Mouse waffles. We're going to just unbox this. And let's see, open that up. Okay. Oh, that is cute. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, close that back up. So, do you have this tied in? We're going to untie that. Okay. Discard all the paper. These are not removable, so you just have to be really careful about cleaning and just wipe them off with just a paper towel before you first use it. All right, let's uh, plug it in and get it heated up. Okay, we are going to plug this in. Okay. Now remember, we wipe this with a soft just paper towel, a little bit damp. It does lock, but I don't know if the batter, I'll have to try that out, if the batter uh, is going to puff up or not. Okay, we've plugged in the power cord, and then we are going to lightly uh, coat the inside. I know it says non-stick, but uh, as you know, if you've been cooking at all for a little while, a little extra help is always nice. And I wouldn't use the sprays, because what happens with the sprays is it gets just a sticky residue after time and then your waffles won't come out really well anymore. Okay, we've just uh, coated that with some light oil, and then we're going to plug this in. Okay, it has a red light showing it's on, and we're gonna come back in about three minutes and pour our batter in. While we're waiting for this to heat up, I just wanna talk a little bit about my uh, 1971 Contemporary Resort plates, as you can see. Um, they have that 1970-ish gold color and that original emblem right there. Uh, let's get that a little closer. You can kind of see that. And these came out of the Contemporary Resort. I bought these uh, many years ago as uh, they were just uh, updating their kitchen wares. So we're going to use that for our new Mickey waffle. That's going to be fun. All right, it's been about four minutes, and uh, we're going to spoon some of that batter that we made. Um, in our previous video and we've lightly coated that with oil and oh, we checked it to see if it was hot enough and the light came back on. I've checked the uh, instructions here and it says nothing about the lights going on and off. So we're just going to try it. You, you know as well as I do that first waffle, first pancake never comes out exactly the way you want it. Right? That's always a... <laughs> That's always a given there. Okay, we're going to, oh, it just went out, so I guess it's ready. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I think we have it on a flat surface. Yeah, there's a flat surface. Okay, so see, it's, I mean, it's warm, but it's not, you know, just screaming hot. Okay, here we go. We might use uh, a little spoon here because this, I don't know if this will, I think we might need a spoon. Let's give us a spoon here. Okay. So we're going to clean the spatula off for now. Did I just say spatula? <laughs> spatula. Okay. All right. Here we go. Set that just right like that. 
Okay, I'm excited. We're going to have some Mickey waffles. It doesn't say how much batter to use, so I'm just going to add just a little bit there. Maybe just a little bit over there. Maybe a little bit for the ears. There's a little bit of a sizzle. I don't know if anybody can hear that. Okay, just got to spread it there. All right, we're going to close it. Let's try not locking it. Let's see what happens when we don't lock it. Okay, we're going to wait about three to four minutes again, and then we'll come back and we'll check them out, see if we got Mickey Wobbles. Okay, the light popped back on. The light has popped back on, so we're going to lift this up just really gently and see what we got. Oh my goodness, I see a Mickey Wobble in there. Did you see that? Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, so don't lock that back down. Well, we're going to try it both ways. We're going to try it uh, unlocked and locked and see uh, what we come up with. <laughs> Let's see what we come up with. Let's see. All right, so we're going to move our uh, my wonderful plate into position. Okay. We're going to move this a little bit over. It's really lightweight. It doesn't hardly weigh anything, so you don't have to really worry about that. Um, my only suggestion would be if you've got a crowd, uh, start a little bit earlier and make a bunch <laughs> because this is, uh, if you got some hungry kids, they are going to be kind of grumpy, uh, sitting here waiting for each waffle, but you could, they can help you, you know, if, with your supervision, they can help you and that might make it more exciting, make the, uh, the weight less interesting. <laughs> Okay. Uh oh, I see a little bit of a smoke. See the smoke? Maybe that means it's done. All right, let's open that up. Oh my goodness. Oh, that looks good. Doesn't that look like Disney World? Oh, wow. Okay, we're gonna take a little bit of knife. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That looks really good. All right, we're gonna put that on our Disney plate. And uh, we're gonna glaze this a little bit. Remember, don't use cooking spray. You use cooking spray. Um, if over time, it's going to have that buildup of sticky residue, and you just won't be happy because you can't submerge this in water. You need to wash this. Do not submerge this in water. You're going to have to lightly wash with a damp, soapy cloth, and then slightly rinse it out. Okay, let's see. Add a little here. Okay, don't overfill it. If you have other waffle machines, it's going to be not a good time. Okay, I've locked it. We're going to see what happens. All right, we're going to wait another about three minutes. Can you hear that? That is a Mickey waffle sizzling. Is that a good sign or bad? I don't know. <laughs> but let's give it just a few more minutes. Remember, we've locked the machine this time. This one for this one, we didn't lock the machine. So let's see what we get. All right, we're going to open it and take a peek. Okay, we're going to unlock that. Whoop! <laughs> let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, isn't that cute? Now, see, we've had a little extra batter spill out, if you can see that right there. See that extra batter? But uh, it's, I think it's a little browner. Oops. It's a little browner. I don't think it's done. I'm going to not lock it and uh, use a few more minutes. I don't know, do I like my waffles a little dark? I like my waffles a little bit dark. So I don't think it made a difference if you locked it or not. I think either way. All right, gonna wait a few more minutes. Okay, it's been a few more minutes. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Except for the little spillage on each side. It came out really nice and golden brown. As I said before, you know what happens when uh, the first waffle pancake never turns out that great. Because <laughs> I guess your pan's not heated up all the way. Remember a little bit? 
lightly glaze that with a little bit of cooking oil. Use your favorite oil there. And it just smells, oh, it smells really good. So remember, we're not going to fill this up. Uh, we had a little bit of spillage. Try to get it in right there in the middle of that hole. I think I'm using too much. What do you think? Uh-oh. All right, let's cut back. Let's cut back. Let's just move it into place. Okay, well, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Remember, we're not going to lock this one. I'm not going to lock this one. All right, we're going to wait about three more minutes. Okay, it's been a few minutes, and we are down to our last waffle. And let's just lightly glaze that. As you can see, there's a little bit of heated oil there, and uh, we'll just clean that up a little bit later. All right, we are going to switch to our scooping spatula here. Scrape and scrape all that batter down. And just a reminder, this is our homemade pancake batter that we use, better than biscuit. And you can add, uh, you know, your favorite uh, almond milk. You can even use uh, buttermilk if you have that. That makes it real good. All right, do I have enough? Do I have enough? I think I do have enough. All right, last Mickey waffle, as you can see, we've been a little busy making, uh, we have some light ones and then we have some dark ones. I like mine real dark. So I think I'm gonna make mine really dark. All right, I'm gonna put this in some hot soapy water and we'll be right back. All right, this is that last one and this waffle maker is, of course it's heated, it's the last one. So it's extra hot and this is gonna be mine. I want it extra dark. So we're gonna see uh, how it turns out. I like them crispy. All right, I think they're ready. Uh, we're gonna take a look and see what this extra, extra dark one looks like. And then we'll be ready to eat. All right, here we go. Let's unlock that. Oh, perfect. I love them like that. Oh, extra crispy. Oh, look at that. Mm. So look at that. That is just golden brown. I'm going to put that on a dish. Oh, there. That's the other side. All right, we're going to go have breakfast, and hopefully y'all have breakfast too. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe to my channel, and we're going to have a whole lot more recipes coming up uh, from my family to yours. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Happy New Year.